in the shadow, right side of the trick, the unicorn, and Zoe. And I just said it was from the unicorn team, but actually it was Shadow the bad guy, and it's an extra. I have a very special surprise for you. Sorry to the towering Chris was a note of the jewelry tree. You are playing a box cover himself. Open it to discover your prize. The unicorn king. But it was at Shadow. And so they went to the jewelry, um, the jewelry tree, and we found the box. Uh-huh. And so they opened it, but actually the box was, the box is winged, and instead of um, thinking that if they open it, it's going to destroy the whole unicorn And so they were going to go into the um, unicorn king's castle, and then when they went in, they saw the tiles and they was small. And they said, Uncle ran into the tree that Oki was um, 
Tell me about the book you read. Yes. Good. Go ahead. Yes. I'm on page 174. So far, what I've read is that first. There's this kid that's holding the ocean to pop up. And his dad's in the military. And his mother died seven years ago. Now, the since war was coming, I mean, the kid's name was Peter, and the frog's name was Pax. And so, since war was coming. Peter's dad thought that they should let the fox into the wilderness. So they did, and Peter felt really sad. Since, well, since his dad was in the military, he had to go help. And so he had to go to his and so Peter had to go to his grandfather's house. And his grandfather's house wasn't that great. And then, <coughs> and then his grandfather, well, so Peter, from this tin can with all these soldiers, <coughs> and one of them was Pax's favorite. And then in there he found a photo of his father and his dog. And then his grandfather said that they were. Inseparable, separatable, and um, um, and then Peter said, and then he went out to start searching for packs, 
and what he was doing was, well, he waited on the road, Peter, yeah, and since he got lost in the west, and the south was going to need it, <laughs> Sleepy. So Peter wouldn't yeah. die. Uh huh. So that they got closer. And then. Uh. No. What? And so. Uh, So he met one fox. He said that he got a group of the military from the west kept and came and attacked the west. They weren't there because it's been put in the ground and they exploded. And, well, before this, they were in fight with another fox for some territory. And <clears throat> Gray had gotten really <clears throat> wounded and packed just a little bit. Um, and so Gray had to, was under a tree resting. <clears throat> well, Pax try to find some food, and then while they're around the river, or bank, I guess, like, suddenly there was an extinct tree that Gray was resting under, so on top of it, like, but at the same time, the boy found a place. Oh, he was looking and looking, and then he twisted his ankle. And then he found a barn, and he slept in there. And so um, he woke up to find this old lady looking over him and he thought that she was crazy but once he lived with her a little bit more he found out that she wasn't that crazy yeah ah that's <laughs> it so far? yeah so tell me how do you like the book so far it's pretty good you like it a lot or yeah i like it a lot yeah. Yeah. Um, so like, yeah. You go. There's not some errors in the book. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see the book again. Uh, sure. Can you show it to me? The book you huh? read. Let me see the book you read again once more. Oh, uh, how many pages long? Long. Um, the whole thing. About how many pages? And I'm on one hundred and eight, one hundred and seventy-four. Ah, one hundred thirty. And one more pages to go. Uh huh. Good. So, uh, one week later, next Saturday, let's do it again. Okay? Yeah, next Saturday. Okay. Yeah. You did a wonderful job, Hugo. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, Harold. Yeah. Bye, Hugo. I'll miss you. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye.
Ya, Turyo. Hi Dad. Yeah. So it has so, been uh, successful. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. They're enjoying the book. Uh huh. They're Very good. The books. Yeah. And uh, sooner or later, I like to ask Hugo to okay. write an essay on the books they re uh, he reads. Oh, I'm sure he. Yeah. The summary and the book review. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, please, yeah. yeah, you can be assistant to him whenever he needs help. Yeah, Hugo, uh, he's going to write his creative writing to you. Uh huh. Report. Yeah. Oh, he did? Oh, okay. So he was gonna send a copy of the creative writing he wrote at school. Yeah. To you. Uh huh. By email. Yeah. Uh. Oh, by mail. He'll by mail. Yeah. Yeah. Kure. Kure. I will let you go. Yeah. Okay, Dad. Yeah. Bye, Duryo. You have a nice day, Dad. Yeah. You too. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye.